Hey, in this video I will show you how to make ligatures in your font. A ligature is typically two F's merged together into one glyph, or um, for example an F, F, I uh, merged together. Um, but now I'm going to show you how to make the F, F ligature. So what you need to do is create a new glyph. Um, and you can go up to glyph and generate glyphs. We can also hit the shortcut command G. And this is going to bring up this dialog here. And because we want to make an FF ligature, you just simply write FF. And then they're going to pop up here, provided that you, well, of course, made the character F. And what it's going to do is going to make a new cliff here. You double click that and you open it up. And you'll notice that it's placed um, these two Fs as. Uh, components so they're linked when you double click it well, I mean right click it and edit component you're gonna jump uh, to the cliff containing the single F so whatever change you make here is gonna be reflected upon uh, everywhere where you have this component anyways so you all you gotta do here is just you know modify modify these the way you want it and let's say we want it like this and then you just quit that one again so all you gotta do now is open up this open type panel and go down here and make a new feature called Liga and you're gonna write Liga down here as well and what we want to do is substitute whenever you write FF in your um, finished font uh, in whatever application you might be using it so the way to write that in this code here is going to be F space and F. Um, and that should be substituted by this ligature, which is called FF. So we just write FF with no space. And then hit compile. And to test this, you open up the preview panel. And under the this uh, you know this open type features uh, tab up here you can you know, write FF and you can see the Liga features has not been enabled yet which you can see down here um, but once you activate it you'll notice that it replaces these regular F's with the one glyph um, right now these are two individual glyphs but down here because the uh, Liga feature has been enabled it is substituted by this ligature so yeah, that's basically how you do it. And to add another ligature to the list here, you basically just um, add them like this and just give them whatever name you want. And actually, I made one down here with my own signature in it. Let me just open it up. This is my own signature, um, which is basically J, M, and N. And this cliff is called J underscore M underscore N. So to write uh, a ligature feature for that one, uh, I'll just say J space M space N. And I want every time I write J M N, um, I want that to be stuff substituted with my signature ligature, which is called the J underscore M underscore N. Uh, so I write that one and I hit compile again, very important, otherwise this won't have any effect. And in my preview panel, when I write J, M, N, you'll notice that it immediately substitutes that with my signature. So that's pretty neat. So really, ligatures really has a lot of cool um, possibilities for you to explore and you know you can use them in many different ways. So. I'll leave it up to you to, to find out um, all the fun you can have with that. Um, and, you yeah, know, thanks for watching this video.